there are four very specific reasons why giraffes are considered to be mammals. Reason one, they are warm-blooded. Reason two, female giraffe give birth to live young. Reason three, females produce milk for their young. And finally, all giraffe have fur. Giraffes are the tallest living land mammal on Earth. Giraffes are so tall, in fact, that they must splay their legs, like this, in order to allow their mouths to reach the ground for food or water. Males can grow over 18 feet tall from hoof to horn and weigh over 3,500 pounds. The spot pattern of a giraffe is unique, meaning that there are no two giraffes with identical spot patterns. The long neck of a giraffe actually has the same number of vertebrae as do humans. Seven, to be more specific. The horns of a giraffe are actually called ossicones. Giraffes have a long prehensile tongue that they use to strip leaves off of branches. Caring for giraffes is a monumental task and requires a number of keepers to do so. We will follow Tracy, who starts her day by cleaning the water bowls. Fresh water is very important for all living animals. Here we can see Tracy cleaning up after the giraffe. And here we can see Fred, the donkey, coming over to say hello. Hi, Fred. Kimberly is out getting hay for our giraffes. Giraffes eat a lot of hay. Kimberly is placing the hay in feeding racks that are elevated to a height that allows our giraffes to have access to the hay throughout the day. In addition to hay, our keepers will hang bottles that have food items inside of them. The giraffe will use its long prehensile tongue to extract the food items out of the bottle. Our giraffes receive browse. Browse is plant material that's cut from trees. Today, it's acacia. The acacia is elevated to a height for the giraffes to have access to. Our giraffes love to eat acacia. Keepers will also place 
structures out for our giraffes, as in Richmond. This one's in the shape of a teepee. Here we can observe Tracy working with our giraffes as a form of enrichment. This is our painting enrichment. So we just observed some giraffe training here at the giraffe feeding platform and Dr. Elizabeth Hammond is going to explain why that training occurs. Dr. Hammond? So we've been training our giraffe for blood draws and one of the main things that we're looking for is to make sure that um, the parasites have not caused a problem for these guys. It also just allows us to do a general health check. And if we can draw blood on these guys without anesthesia, it's really great because anesthesia can be very dangerous for them. And what we like to do is we like to make it a positive experience and so these guys can walk away anytime that they want. Um, but that way we can just make sure that their general health is good. Whenever necessary, a veterinarian may recommend medicine for our giraffes. Here we can see our keepers giving the giraffes their medicine. Here's our breeding bull. He's our breeding male. He's the father of the most recent calves that we've had. Cupid's easy to tell apart because as a breeding bull, he is a darker color. So he's our darkest male. And Cupid actually has a very distinct spot on him. He's a very distinct pattern to him. He has a heart shape on his right side. If you ever get him to face you with his right side, you look right above his shoulder, right about his neck, right where his neck meets his shoulder. He's got a, he looks exactly like a heart on his right side. And he also was born on February 14th. So he was born on February 14th, Valentine's Day. He was named Cupid. He came out with a heart shaped spot on his side. Very unique. So we're in a very special section right now. This is where we keep our baby giraffe. It's the maternity pen here at Lion Country Safari. And behind me, I have Kimberly. Kimberly's the uh, giraffe keeper. What's the name of this baby giraffe that we're gonna see right now, Kimberly? This is Little Matata. This is our newest baby giraffe, born on December 30th of 2014. In the middle of January now, it's about two weeks old. His name is Hakuna. He was born to Mother Alice. When he was born, he was five foot, six inches tall, weighed about 165, 170 pounds. It's pretty average for a giraffe calf, when the average is about 150, about six feet tall, which is maybe about it, about the same size as a average adult male. He get first standing up, and he is with his mom by himself right now. He will be for about the first couple of months. He's 
give him and his mom some body time and give him a chance to get some strength in his legs. It's like walking on stilts. If you think about it, about three foot leg when you're a baby. So it's been a while for him to get used to it. Give him the time to do that before we put them out with the rest of the giraffes. One way to help protect African habitat, like for our giraffes, is by recycling old cell phones. Now, the main reason why we do that is there's an element in your cell phone that's mined exclusively in Africa. So by recycling those cell phones, you help to protect African habitat. When you bring them here to Lion Catch Safari, we actually send them off to EcoCell, and they will use those old cell phones and get those parts to help, again, make sure they don't have to go and mine brand new material. And if you do bring them here, we actually give you a feeding coupon, which you can use at any of our animal feeding areas, as a way of saying thank you for recycling your cell phones and protecting those African habitats.